Well, Happy New Year, everyone. This is Steve Marinucci with another edition of Beal News Briefs. And this is kind of an emergency show. Uh, I hadn't even planned on doing one today, but something has happened that makes this necessary. And that is Paul McCartney has dropped a song for New Year's Eve called Get Enough. It's apparently, we're guessing, an outtake from Egypt Station. The word is it's a Ryan Tedder production. A Tedder produced Fayou on Egypt Station. And I, it's, it, it sounds like it's got auto-tune on it. I'm okay with it. I mean, it sounds okay. The, the vocal sounds okay. Um, it's, you know, a lot of people are grumbling about it that have heard it. But, you know, it's, it's not bad. Um, there is a possibility that this is a forerunner to the announcement of a super deluxe version of Egypt Station that will be announced, or should be announced very soon. If you have not heard it yet, it will come out at midnight, your time in whatever time zone you're in. And it'll, the video apparently is just the audio of the song, um, the so there's no actual video, but it will be on YouTube. So, enjoy. And Happy New Year from Paul McCartney. And Billboard announced its year-end listings for the year 2018. In their top 200 albums of 2018, Beatles 1 was 127, Abbey Road was 163, and McCartney's Egypt Station was 175. In the top rock artists, the Beatles were number 10. On the top rock albums, the Beatles 1 album hit number 15, and Paul McCartney's Egypt Station was 33. In that same issue, Paul was also featured in a full-page ad for this year's Freshen Up tour dates, and also was pictured in another ad for ASCAP for scoring his first number one solo album on the Billboard charts. And big news, Sean Lennon posted a picture on Instagram of himself, Les Claypool, and Yoko Ono at the gig they did tonight on New Year's Eve in San Francisco at the Fillmore. Fantastic. Until next time, this is Steve Marinucci with News As It Happens on Beatle News Brief saying... Be seeing you. that one market fab <laughs> <laughs>